Right, here we go. This is uh, sort of a preview for chapter four when uh, we're going to talk about logarithms. So the first section actually deals with exponents. Uh, what I'm going to show you quickly, I guess, is uh, first of all, an exponential function is when you have the variable in the exponent right there. So before we start uh, dealing with exponential functions and the different applications that we have, we should probably remember some exponent laws. Okay, so let's write down a bunch of exponent laws. Now, if we have, say, x to the power of a times x to the power of b, uh, whenever we have the same base here, right, we can simply add, or uh, sorry, not a times b, we add the exponents together. Okay, so uh, a plus b. So an example would be, say, 3 squared times 3 to the power of 5 is equal to 3 to the power of 7. Okay. Uh, similarly, if I have x to the a divided by x to the b, what we have is a subtraction of exponents. So 5 to the power of 9 divided by 5 to the power of 4 is equal to 5 to the power of 5. So another example, right? And if we have um, a power to a power, so for example, x to the power of a all to the power of b, that would be x to the power of a b. An example would be, say, 4 squared all cubed would be 4 to the power of 6, okay? Uh, what else do we have here? Say I have um, xy to the power of a. Hopefully you can see that that's x to the a and then y to the a. I'm going to stop with the examples here now. Um, negative exponents, if I have x to the power of negative b, that's 1 over x to the power of b, okay? Um, what else do we have here? If I have uh, x over y to the power of a, that's going to be x to the a, <coughs> the top to that exponent, and the bottom to that exponent. Uh, anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1, right? Uh, what else can we do here if I have, similarly from this, if I have x over y negative a, right, that's going to equal y over x to the a, which is y to the a, x to the a. So there's a bunch of different things that we can uh, sort out here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think those are pretty much all the exponent laws, the negative exponent thing is, is, is quite tricky. Um, what we're going to be dealing with is what we call exponential equations uh, and, and solving them. And in order to solve them, we need to understand all these basic exponent laws, okay? This being the basic function, we'll be looking at how to graph it and all that as well. So um, let's look at some exponential equations, okay? So exponential equations and the key with this guys is to understand the basic idea of exponents okay and bases and that you can only do these things these rules only apply if they have the same base okay so um only if bases are the same so you might be in a situation where the bases aren't the same but we can solve it nonetheless. Okay, so let's look quickly at a couple equations here, or a couple examples. If I have 4 to the power of uh, 2x times 8 to the power of 3x, can we simplify this at all? Well, what you have to be able to identify is that 4 and 8 have the same base, right? So if you look at this, um, uh, 2 squared is equal to 4, right? And 2 cubed is equal to 8. So it's a very simple equation. But what we need to do is convert the 4 into 2 squared. So this will be 2 squared. And the exponent is still 2x, right? And then I have 8 being 2 cubed, still to the 3x, right? Uh, and then we use exponent laws. So power to a power. This is 2 to the power of 4x. This is 2 to the power of 9x. And then we can combine these because they have the same base. Here we multiply the exponents, the power rule. Here we multiply uh, with the same base. So we add the exponents. So this is 2 to the power of 13 
x, okay? So we can simplify it um, quite a bit, actually. Uh, we can look at another one here. If I gave you 4 to the power of 6x plus 1, uh, let's choose 8 to the power of 4x plus 2. Hopefully you can see that we're doing the same thing, right? 4 is 2 squared. And then you have 6x plus 1 is the exponent on the whole thing, all over 8, which can be rewritten as 2 cubed. It still has an exponent of 4x plus 2. Now we multiply it out again. This becomes 2 to the power of 12x plus 2. This becomes 2 to the power of 12x plus 4, right? And then we subtract it now, 2 to the power of uh, 12x plus 2 minus 12x plus 4, and what you end up with is 2 to the power of negative 2, which is 1 over 2 squared, which is 1 quarter. So what we did with that one is we simplified it all the way to the end, right? So now I'll give you one more example of exponential equations, and then we'll probably leave it, and I'll make another video with the graphs, okay? So let's have a look at another one. 9 to the power of 2x minus 3 is equal to 27 to the power of 1 minus x. So what we're looking for is to find the value of x here, or just simplify this somehow. Probably in this case, we're going to uh, solve this equation, right, before we simplified. And here we're going to solve it because we actually have an equation, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to see that 9 is equal to 3 squared. 27 is equal to 3 cubed. That's the same base. So 9 becomes 3 squared. This is all to the power of 2x minus 3. 27 becomes 3 cubed, all to the power of 1 minus x. Power rule right here, so 3 to the power of 4x minus 6 equals 3 to the power of 3 minus 3x. And what we can do is kind of divide here, right? Uh, you can say that 3 to the power of 4x minus 6, or there's another way to look at it. You can divide it, make it equal to 1, or you can see that at this stage it's actually even simpler. If you have the same base and you want it to be equal, I hope it makes sense that you need to actually equate the exponents now. And this is essentially all we need to do. So bring the 3x over here, you get 7x. Bring the 6 over here, you get 9. So x would equal 9 sevenths, and you have it. All right? So basic review of exponents and exponent laws. Okay? Uh, an example of how to solve exponential equations using those exponent laws and the next thing we'll do is look at some applications and some graphs so hope that helps